So we've talked about inflammation, the science, how to check it, TMAO, the science, how to check it. Beyond cholesterol-3, um, I would doubt that most of you have read a lot about a form of cholesterol I have not yet mentioned called lipoprotein little a. If you were a marketing firm, you'd get rid of that. It's hard to say, and you have to call it little a, or LP little a, because there is another one that's a capital A. But there is the, you know, in a simple concept, the good HDL protective, the bad LDL lousy uh, damaging, and now a new one. And it's not so new. 1963, it was identified that some of us have a level in our blood of a certain kind of genetic cholesterol that will never show up on a routine panel. Everybody here, I'm sure, has had at least once their cholesterol checked, and it will never say what your lipoprotein little a level is unless it's specifically checkbox. So you're $30 away, and every lab in America from knowing your lipoprotein A level. But is it inherited by one in a billion people so that it maybe affects seven people in the world or, or maybe not? Well, the fact that there's actually already a uh, foundation in all you can go read about uh, suggests it's quite common. Indeed, one out of every four people on the planet, 1.8 billion people have inherited this. This is the most frequent genetic cholesterol disorder on the planet. The one I learned about in training in Dallas when they won the Nobel Prize at the medical center I was at while I was there, it affects about one in 250 people. This affects one in every four persons, so 60 people in this room and thousands of people watching have an elevated level, and it contributes to heart attacks and uniquely clogged heart valves. This is really unique. It clogs up the aortic valve. One out of every seven cases of aortic valve is due to lipoprotein little a. So that is 1.8 million people. That's a lot of people. And it's understood to be very important, but it's not yet recommended to check it, even though it's available, because we don't for sure know the therapy for it. And some would say, why bother people with information like this? Other people would like to know. Uh, I've been very aggressive about it to the point I have a book coming out in six weeks, which is the first book by a medical doctor on the topic. If you don't want to read the science, which is rather light, I don't like to bombard you with uh, real hardcore science, there are 50 amazing plant-based recipes in the book because of a little aspect of treating lipoprotein little a I'll tell you about, but that book will be out uh, and maybe next year it'll be on the table. So it turns out We've talked about LDL cholesterol. Your doctor gets the labs and says, great news, you've changed your diet, your LDL cholesterol fell to 72, good work. Well, this lipoprotein little a is a bad, bad triple threat. It has the LDL cholesterol there, then it has that semicircle, colorful thing that's called apo little a, and then it also has something called oxidized phospholipids. It's one bad package that's bigger than LDL cholesterol because it has LDL cholesterol plus. So it, it, is, it circulates in the blood. It's a molecule, bangs into walls, and it bangs into 50,000 miles of arteries and bangs into seven and eight uh, tennis courts of endothelium. Uh, and it can do various things. It can cause atherosclerosis, clotting of vessels. It can cause clotting of blood because of its uh, similar shape to plasminogen. And it can oddly actually stick to heart valves and cause inflammation on the aortic valve. So we care about it, and there is this relationship. This is, again, from the American College of Cardiology. There are several thousand research papers on lipoprotein little a, but rarely has it made public attention. The single time I've seen it making public attention was in early 2017, the biggest loser trainer, uh, Bob Harper, had a massive heart attack. It made headlines. And a couple of months later on the medical show called The Dr. Oz Show, uh, he announced uh, to Mehmet, Mehmet, I know I had my heart attack. I inherited this. And the New York Times did an article and other places did. But things like that fade in a while. And I've not seen another celebrity or high profile person talk about it. But um, they may just not know about it. There's another concept real quickly. Uh, I go to my heart doc, I take my blood pressure medicine, I eat my healthy food, I take my cholesterol lowering medicine. I've still got about half the risk of having a heart attack I used to have. I wish it were less than that. I wish I could really make myself bulletproof. Well, it turns out of reasons why you can't make yourself bulletproof according to the medical literature is that lipoprotein A is the single biggest 
untreated factor in the blood that's still circulating. So we care a lot about it in my field. In the last year, there's now something called a diagnostic code. There never was. So I have in my charts now entered that this person has a lipoprotein little a cholesterol abnormality. Um, that allows me to get their blood test paid for easily, although it really wasn't a problem before there was this code. Uh, so that's kind of a breakthrough. Now this is kind of fun. This is a study, it's not a perfect study, done by a wonderful cardiologist in Houston named Baxter Montgomery. You may be aware of Dr. Montgomery. He does YouTubes and writes and speaks. But he put people on a plant diet like we teach at this meeting. And of the various cholesterol particles that were reduced, you can see the first one on the left is lipoprotein little a. Uh, this contrasts with some data 25 years ago that suggested diets higher in saturated fat lowered lipoprotein A. Now, for a variety of reasons, we're not going to recommend that to people for all the reasons we talked about. But it's so refreshing to see that we have the potential. 15% drop in lipoprotein A for many people is not enough, but at least it's a start. Uh, and uh, we're looking at the future right now. There is an agent uh, made by a company called Axia. It's an injectable drug. It's the first drug in the United States that's being studied to lower lipoprotein A, little a. It's an antibody. You know, we're, we need to learn more about side effects and such. But in the headlines, as recently as you can see in the lower right, this was science published about two weeks ago, up to date, the first 200 patients that had heart disease, high lipoprotein A, were given different doses of this drug. It dramatically drops lipoprotein little a by as much as 80%. Diet, I mentioned, maybe 15%. And it was safe and well tolerated. It wasn't a study to say, does it actually reverse plaque? That's about to embark in 7,000 people, and if it all goes well, this drug will be released in 2024 or 2025, which are not palindrome years, but they're still pretty cool years. So we're looking forward to it. So just to conclude and follow up, does cholesterol matter? I hope I've convinced you cholesterol is a risk factor, cholesterol matters, you should know yours, and you may be frustrated that it hasn't responded for a variety of reasons we talked about, but there are Three, and there's actually 13 I could have talked about. I didn't talk about new 5GC, new 5AC, and meat allergies and others. There's other factors in developing atherosclerosis uh, that either we've known about for a while or are emerging um, and such. I didn't talk about diabetic uh, damage to arteries, smoking damage. But this idea that you can get better and better and better knowing your personal risk. You know, you right now can whip out on your phone and put in a risk calculator. My age, do I smoke, am I on blood pressure medicine, what's my cholesterol, what's my LDL, and get some calculated database that doctors use and is helpful. If you've gone for a calcium score ever, a CT scan of the heart that I order frequently in my clinic and on others, you can go to a website called astrocharm.org, A-S-T-R-O, charm.org, put in your calcium score, put in your cholesterol, put in your blood pressure, a few other things, including the C-reactive protein, if you know it, and you can predict your 10-year risk of a heart attack. That's a better way to assess your personal risk. But we're getting better and better, and we're targeting not just LDL cholesterol, but soon we'll be able to target triglycerides better. We do that now. We'll be able to target um, this lipoprotein little a better, some of which do respond to lifestyle and diet, but not every one of them does. So we do need this combination for the sickest patients of both the excellent lifestyle as well as you know pharma, pharmaceutical agents. Now, I was listening to a podcast yesterday, I think driving to the airport, by a leading preventive cardiologist who practices University of Arizona out of Phoenix, and all she talked about was beautiful drugs, wonderful drugs, beautiful drugs, wonderful drugs. And she's so intelligent, she's so highly regarded. And I know she actually gets that it also matters if you got your gym shoes on and if you ate a salad and if you slept last night and if you have a stress management technique. But they get so excited, it drives me crazy about you know drugs and such. We need them, but 
you've seen from the genetic Mendelian studies, the earlier in life when you're not going to put your kid on Lipitor, but you might put your kid on, you know, lettuce, um, the earlier in life you can handle this, the better it'll be. And uh, I think that is the message, you know, as early as you can get everybody around you, you know, eating better. They may not want to do the whole thing. I have three children. They're adults, uh, 20s and 30s. Two are fully plant-based. Uh, one is fully paleo. Uh, he is a whole lot of grilled chicken and a whole lot of broccoli and salad. Uh, you know, you do what you can do. Uh, until he went to Hippocrates eight years ago and spent the health educator course there for seven weeks after three weeks, he didn't eat broccoli. So uh, I give Brian and Anna a big credit for getting him off of beige and into green. Uh, but we're trying to get him off of beige chicken into tempeh. We'll see when that happens.